It could very well be said that in the search for truth, it's also a search for meaning. And that's to say the truly meaningful. What is the meaning behind it all? And I do mean all of it. Is there such a thing? How can we find out? It's a very, very pertinent and important question. If there's no meaning, then there's no point to the search. And if there's no point to the search, then we're just as good as the nihilists, no better than them. We might as well just become nihilists ourselves. So there must be meaning. There must be the essential, the actual meaning, legitimate, which is very much connected with the truth and one's search for it. But the search has to be total. It can't be an incomplete search. This should be obvious. So meaning has to be found in completeness. It can't be found in particularities. It can't be found in things that are divided. It has to be about wholeness, completeness, and a total effort. This is why I say it is about totalities. In one search, have you given the totality of yourself, everything, leaving nothing behind, absolutely nothing? If something's left behind, then something's missed. And if something is missed, then it's incomplete. And something that's incomplete is unhealthy. This is all about bringing the state of being back to a formation of health. That's what completeness means. Then, then it's probably only possible at that point to find out what the real meaning behind it all is. We can't find it in particularities. We can't find it in anything that's separated. That's the very problem of this place. It separates everything and then leads to disease. Leads to all of the problems that we see before us. So one's entire search has to be about what health is. And that's bringing everything together. That's healing. As I've said before, we get cut and that creates a division and that's pain. And then only when that division is brought back together can there be healing and the cessation of that pain. And that's the meaning behind it. It has to be. But has one given their whole effort, and I mean nothing whatsoever held back, in terms of finding that out? Many like to claim that they have. There's a lot of big talkers in this world. Lots of talk. Blah, blah, blah. How many are willing to walk their talk? So the two are hand in hand, not divided. Not like this whole system. This whole system is like a coin. It says one thing, and its action is another thing. It's the opposite of what it just talked about. Or inversely, its action is going to do something different than what it said. Right? So either way, it's just a contradiction. So this is why it will talk about peace and then go to war. That's a, a very good example of what this system does. So that's not about healing or completeness whatsoever. And there's not going to be any true meaning found within the things of this system, which is all about division. Yeah, it's the wrong vision. Die vision. Yeah, and it's just right in the word, just slapping us in the face. Yeah, and it's about death, the vision that makes everyone die. And there is nothing more unhealthy than death. It is the ultimate disease. Finality, there's, there's the finality of things, is death. And people want to welcome that. They want to welcome the greatest disease ever with open arms and say it's just all part of a journey or it's just another doorway or some other absurdity. What a fallacy. What a farce. 
calling disease a good thing? How duped does one have to be? It's just incredible how this system has convinced people that the worst thing is something to celebrate. My goodness, how upside down this place really is. No, death is not just some doorway or part of some journey or something that one shouldn't be concerned about. Absolutely, we should be on our toes and concerned about that ultimate of diseases and divisions. That is anything about, it has nothing to do with completeness, is what it comes down to. Nothing whatsoever. And if it's not complete, we're not going to find any meaning within it. There is no meaning to be found within death. The only meaning is to be found within life. Life is what gives. Death takes. This should be so obvious. And yet there's so many out there that try to convince themselves otherwise. Or listen to others who try to philosophize in the ways and mannerisms of death. Death is not a good thing. It never was and never will be. How can evil ever be a good thing? That's the point of evil. It is not good. Death is evil. The end. Full stop. There's nothing to defend about evil unless one is evil. Then of course it's going to defend its position and try to call itself good. But it's a liar. It's a liar from the beginning all the way through to the end. And it's a deceiver. And it doesn't care if it deceives you right till the end. That's the point. That's what it wants to do. It's the harvester of everything. It's what brings sorrow. It's what brings hatred. It's what brings all forms of evil and disease and everything that's unhealthy and non-meaningful. So this is why one needs to pour their entire heart into the search for that which is legitimate and legitimately meaningful. But the search has to be complete. It can't be a divided search and it can't be a divided effort. One needs to bring everything of themselves and leave nothing behind. When you leave something behind, you get left behind. That's the point, and that's what all in truly means. All in. Not almost all in. That's not going to be good enough. Not even close. That's why lose is in the word close. So close, yet so far. Talk to you again soon.